Ah, uh, yes. Another Disney Park day. You know, I never thought I would be that guy with the AirPods in his ears while walking through a Disney Park. We're gonna give it a shot today. This is a solo park day, and <laughs> what park am I soloing, you might ask? Well, just take a look at the big ball behind me. Flower and Garden Festival going on. Have a grand old time. Might visit some friends that are working. See a lot of people around these parks that you know. That's one of the fun things about the Disney College program. <sighs> Pins, rides, food, so much to do. We've made the executive decision that we're doing a challenge. Gonna try and do every single ride inside of Epcot in one day. Cause I got into the park at 1.30 and I just got a queue for Guardians, so it's happening. I have six hours, seven hours. Will we do it? Yes. Starting with Spaceship Earth and uh, <laughs> I'm feeling like Ronaldo. Dude. Eh, I like the camp. Uh, de casa, that's house. Also, car. Oh no, it's necessary. Lutuante, I like that word. Oh. I'm stoked. Look at that, I'm playing Fruit Ninja. Listen to my own music, the entirety of Spaceship Earth. It was quite fun. So I have until July 5th to get five of these items here on the left. I already got one, I got some corn yesterday. I think today is going to be the avocado toast from the new brunch cot. Check it out, there's the avocado toast. Find your test track. They even gave me a little avocado stick. Look at how cute that is. Let's see what this toast is all about. It's beautiful. I don't want to eat it. Yeah, oh, that's good. It's like a 7.5 out of 10. Try it yourself here at Brunch Con. And if you're at Epcot during the Flower and Garden Festival, you have until July 5th to get stamps in this book and then get a free prize at the end of it, which I will most likely show in a future vlog. I'm going to eat this, and then we'll probably hop on Test Track or Mission Space. <laughs> yeah. Test Track, done. Mission Space, ride number three of the day. What's up? Children. Love them. Alright. I'm about to scare the crap out of my friend Steven. Steven! Hey! How's it going? What's up? Good to see you. Good to see you, man. Are you doing anything today? Do you have plans? Uh, going to the studios later with Tucker and his friend. Oh, I bet. Well, I'm here by myself. I have a goal to go on every ride. Oh, shoot. I have to update them and let them know that the day has just completely changed. I'm not doing every ride on Epcot. In fact, I'm at a completely different park now. I'm at Hollywood Studios with Steven. We're gonna meet up with Tucker and his friend. First, we're eating food. We got a burger from the Backlot Express. We're gonna rate it 1 to 10. 10 being the best, 1 being the worst, decimals included. It's not bad. Would I get it again? Probably not. It's like a 6-2, maybe. Maybe 6-1. It's a burger, so like you can't really go wrong with a burger. You know, it's like pizza. This is quick service, okay? It's not the brown derby. This is the Backlot Express, ladies and gentlemen. This is where you got two-year-olds in the back corner pulling their pants down and, like, peeing in the corner. Not that that's happening right now. Can you, like, from the, from the light paper shop? Uh -huh. Did you get, like, the, um, no, I did not get it. Tucker making friends with a 12 year old. Matthews. You want to know why he's as a child? Because he's never been on Tower of Terror. He's scared. But we're going to try and change that today. I don't know if he's going to get on. I think he's going to wimp out. I don't think he's going to. I think if we get. <laughs> we're going to get you in the queue, bro. You know, if Bella's working the gate, she could easily get us in real quick. Oh, God. I'm starting to like freak out. No, Tucker. Come on, man. Just take some deep breaths. You're fine. <laughs> I hate this drop towers, so dude. Fast. Fine. We just swindled Tucker out the tower. Oh my gosh, no way! You can't you can't back out now, brother. It's okay. Hey, the worst thing that happens is you throw up. You're not gonna die. I hope that that's not the worst thing. <laughs> Here's my deal is I've been on drop towers. I know I hate them, right? Which I can deal with. Drop towers back home. It's really, really bad, but it's only seven seconds. This one, it's gonna go and pull you right back up. Hello again. Hello, hello. Hey, you speak another language? I do, I speak Spanish. Can you say welcome to Tower of Terror? Bienvenido. Tower of Terror. This is his first time on this ride. Oh, you'll love it. Well, it's great. Sure no, it's great. You'll love it. <laughs> I'm not scared to pressure myself. Like, do we have consent? Okay. Yes. Oh, he's giving us consent. We consent. We're good. That's huge. It really isn't that bad. You'll be alright. I am. You'll be okay. We're panicking. You'll be okay. Hey, if I'm being real, that's the only thing that got me on was I thought if Steven can do it, I can do it. Exactly. Because Steven won't ride Space Mountain, which I is my favorite ride. ride. I hate it. He says that it's worse than Rock and Roller Coaster, and I like Rock and Roller Coaster. How many times have you been to Disney World? A lot. And you've never been on Tower? Never been on it. That's crazy. I've never Guys, the power of pure pressure is very strong. Hey, at least we're not trying to get you to do heroin or something. There are far worse things you could, you could be peer pressured into. The camera is all in my face. <laughs> it's the worst 30 seconds of your life. 
Fun fact story about Tiny Bailey. When he was 10, his dad got him in line for Tower, and he got to this exact spot, and he started crying for Mommy. And Mommy had to come and rescue him. 10-year-old Bailey didn't ride Tower. Steven did that, too. Yeah, really? 7-year-old, not even 7, maybe even older than that. Uh, if you've ever been to SeaWorld, you might know the penguin ride. It takes you around, and you spin around, and you see penguins. Lost it. Would not ride it. Lost it. I thought the Sounds penguin like a kitty ride. ride. I, it is a kitty ride. It legitimately is. You know Alien Swirling Saucers, where it just goes into... Yeah. It's like that, and there's penguins. That rides gas, though. Would not ride it. This is the only Disney ride I've never done. He, he has every opportunity to walk out. This is the only Disney ride you've ever not done. The only one. That's why I'm I, so glad that I get to be here. That's why I'm doing I'm so it. No, this is, this is so much fun. See, but remember what I told you at the very beginning of the program? I was like, look, this is the only one I haven't done. My goal is to do it by the end of the program. And I said, I told him, I was like, it's going to take a group. Hey, we're like, ripping I the band-aid off. I was like, I'm not going to be able to do it when it's just like me and Steven on a solo park day. I need like a group around me or whatever. Yes, sir. This will probably be my last time on it. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me feel better. If it's awful, I can say, all right, well, I can say I've done it. So I don't have to hear it anymore when I say, no, okay, I'm out. That's not to try how nervous I am. No, you'll be good, bro. I'm so it's good. totally fine. You are so fine. <laughs> It's his. It's his. It's his. Awesome. Now I know what seatbelt I'm talking about. Tucker, don't look up. could get us through. Light it up. Steven, we're going again. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Liked it so much, he's going again. It helps to know people. Look at, look we're going right back up. Life lessons from Bailey. Sometimes in life you have to put the camera down and enjoy stuff in the moment. And I'm going to put the camera down and enjoy the second ride of Hollywood Tower of Terror. So I have a question. Is that a dress or is that part of your body? Or is it a t-shirt? I think it's a dress. No, it is part of your body? Dress or body? Body. Oh, it's like a it's coat? A sweater. Sweater. It's a sweater. I like the sweater. It looks great on you. Who is right behind? Wow. What's up? Oh my gosh. And Mr. Steal Your Girl. Who? How come they don't have any honey up there? Are you keeping it for I feel Oh, you took it all. You took it. I knew it. I, I knew was gonna... it. Everything is okay about Ooh. Right it's okay. Hey, it's okay. Honey's a healthy sugar. Exactly, and as long as it's local, you know, you're keeping like all that stuff away. You, know, you got local. antibiotics. You never get sick. It was Thank nice you. to see you, Pooh. Have a wonderful evening. <laughs> oh, stop. Was he hitting on you or was he hitting on No, me? Poo, Pooh's definitely fruity. Is it a guy or a girl? He's into me. He definitely was. 